In this video, I will present the pharmacological actions, clinical uses, and adverse effects of fibrates. Fibrates are one of the lipid-lowering medications. They primarily decrease triglyceride levels in the blood, and are useful in patients with hypertriglyceridemia, high level of triglycerides in the blood. Triglyceride, also called triacylglycerol, is a type of fat or lipid, which is composed of three molecules of free fatty acids and a glycerol. We can know if a person has high level of triglycerides in a lipid panel. Lipid panel usually shows four parameters, total cholesterol, triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol. For a healthy person, triglycerides are lower than 150 mg per deciliter. High level of triglyceride is atherogenic, which means it can cause atherosclerosis, increasing the risk of cardiovascular complications like myocardial infarction and stroke. Extremely high level of triglycerides can also cause acute inflammation of the pancreas or pancreatitis. Triglycerides come from two sources, they come from the food we eat, and they can be also made in the liver. Triglycerides are not water-soluble, so they cannot travel freely in the blood. They are packed in triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. Within the blood vessels, chylomicrons carry a large amount of dietary triglyceride, and very low-density lipoproteins mainly carry triglycerides produced in the liver. Triglycerides are broken down into monoglycerides and fatty acids by an enzyme, called lipoprotein lipase. Fatty acids are picked up by cells, where they can be stored in the adipose tissue in the form of triglycerides, or undergo beta-oxidation for cellular energy production. Lipoprotein lipase is the rate-limiting enzyme in the removal of triglycerides from the bloodstream. The activity of lipoprotein lipase is inhibited by apolipoprotein C3, also known as ApoC3. Let's focus on how triglycerides work in our body. Fibrates activate PPAR alpha. We need to know a little bit about PPAR peroxisome proliferator activated receptor. PPAR alpha is a major regulator of lipid metabolism. When activated by fibrates, they increase the gene expression for lipoprotein lipase, and more lipoprotein lipase are made. In contrast to lipoprotein lipase, fibrates suppress ApoC3 via PPAR alpha. This enhances the conversion of triglycerides in chylomicrons and VLDL into fatty acids, thus decreasing triglyceride level. In the liver, fibrates increase the breakdown of triglycerides through fatty acid beta-oxidation. This results in lower triglyceride levels, as liver cells make less VLDL. Fibrates can also increase high-density lipoproteins to some extent. In the liver, PPAR-alpha also increases synthesis of ApoA1 and ApoA2, which are major HDL apolipoproteins. This contributes to increased HDL precursors. Fibrates are first-line medications for the treatment of primary hypertriglyceridemia. Unlike satins, which are the more commonly used lipid-lowering agent, fibrates have little effect on LDL. Fibrates do not lower cholesterol as much. On the other hand, satins are not as effective in lowering triglyceride, the two can be combined to treat mixed dyslipidemia, where both triglyceride and cholesterol levels are elevated. Common medications of fibrates include phenofibrate and gemfibrazil. The initial dose of phenofibrate is 40 to 120 mg per day. Half-life is 20 hours, hence we need once a day dosing. The absorption is enhanced by food. Phenofibrate is a prodrug, converted to phenofibric acid in the tissues. Another fibrate medication is gemfibrazil. 
This drug is usually taken 600 mg two times a day. Unlike phenofibrate, gemfibrozil is better absorbed when stomach is empty. It should be taken at least 30 minutes before morning and evening meals. Half-life is short, less than 2 hours. Gemfibrozil has interactions with a lot of other medications. It is a CYP inhibitor, specifically CYP2C8, and also inhibits OATP1B1, which is required for satins to enter the liver. Gemfibrozil should not be used together with satins, or medications that require CYP2C8 for metabolism. For side effects of fibrates, the most common ones include gastrointestinal disturbances and rashes. It is important to know that fibrates can cause muscle pain, and rarely lead to muscle damage and rhabdomyolysis, which is life-threatening. Since satins can also cause this side effect, the risk is increased when they are combined, especially gemfibrozil statin combination. In the liver, Fibrates decrease the activity of an enzyme called cholesterol 7-alpha hydroxylase. This enzyme is needed to convert cholesterol to bile acid. Inhibition of 7-alpha hydroxylase increases cholesterol excretion into the bile, promoting the formation of gallstones. Another class of lipid-lowering medications called bile acid resins also cause gallstone formation. When they are used together, the risk of developing gallstones is increased even more. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.